Hello, this is Noseman from the Maxon training team. And in today's quick tip, I'm going to show you how to create an eye blink. In other words, how to use rotational morphs in the pose morph tag. In this simplified uh, scene, I have the eyelid which is closed. And I'm going to go and right click, go to the rigging tags. And I'm going to add a pose morph. Now let's activate the points mode. And uh, we can see that now we have a new pose here. This is the base pose where the eye is closed. And I'm going to go to pose uh, zero, double click and type open so that I know what pose it represents. And now I'm going to go to edge mode and I'm going to make an open version of this. So let me click on this edge, go all the way to the right and use control shift or command shift on the Mac and select all this edge. But you can see that the axis is the selected. So go to the move tool or any tool you're using, the rotate, it doesn't make a difference, and go to the attributes and change the position of the axis to be object. So it's centered here. Depending on your case, you may use another method. But for this spherical object, this is how it works. And I'm going to rotate this up. And uh, then I'm going to shift double click here to select the second edge. And I'm going to rotate it up and then shift double click to rotate it up a bit more. And now I'm going to go here, click, command shift click. Let's open this a bit and then shift double click here and rotate it and shift double click here and rotate it. So now I have the two states of the object. Go to the pose morph tag and uh, let's test this. I'm going to go to object mode and you can see the problem we have here is that these are transitioning in a linear fashion, so we don't get that rotation of the eyelid. And uh, this is precisely the technique. What you need to do is go where it says mixing, and instead of relative, go all the way down where it says rotational. Now we need to set a rotation axis. And if you look here, you can see this little yellow dot. Now, there are a couple of ways you can do this. Uh, you can select a couple of points and use from points or an edge, if it exists, an edge that connects these two points and use that. Or you can go numerically and do this. So I'm going to do it with points. So I'm going to go and select this point and shift click this point and just go here and say from points. And you can see now that is the pivot. And that's pretty much all you have to do. Now we have this rotational pose morph that will work for things like eye blinks and so forth. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment, subscribe, and enable notifications so you never miss another quick tip.